You are here back at the Heaven Bell Farm, and this is an update on the baby red pleco. And we're just uh, counting them. There's about 25 in there. I think there's more than that now. You put the feed in there, you can see them all out and about now. And uh, they are doing wonderful, as you can see. And uh, we're going to start having live streams before too much longer. That way y'all can sit and watch the fish in the big fish tank. And because we have some new ones that we are going to get to put in there. And also, you all can just talk among yourselves when you're in the live stream. And I'll be here to talk with you as well. And answer any questions you have about the Heaven Bell Farm. And, uh... Just take and enjoy and watching the plecos there. There's long fins in there, red ones, and the regular short fin red ones. And right now we're not for sure who the mommy and the daddy is, but we're sure they're going to be beautiful whichever way they go. Uh, we also have the baby goats. We'll be doing an update on that. And that fish diva took and named the one, uh, the black goat that we had, she named her Onyx. So you need to check her channel out, Mad Fish Diva. She has wonderful shows on there about her um, shrimp and her fish, and then sometimes she'll just get on there and talk about things that's happening in, in her family and things like that. But she's a real good lady to, to watch and a lot of good information to watch. And uh, so when we take and get other stuff going here on the farm, like I said, it's always busy continuously. And uh, so you will be able to see all that. And that is our new babies, the hollering, because it's uh, after six, almost six o'clock, and they're wanting their bottles and they're wanting their mommies. Some of them we had to raise this year with just bottles. Got the milk from the mommies and put it in a bottle and fed them ourselves because the mommies wouldn't have anything to do with them. And, uh, but they did keep making milk, so that's a blessing from the Lord. So we fed them their mommies' own milk. But other than that, we're doing pretty good here on the farm. And this here is called Unimilk. And that is what I raised Petey on, my little Pekingese dog after his mommy died. He was two days old, and he had to have that for six months. Would not take a drink water or nothing else. He had to drink his water out of a baby bottle. Well, uh, one of those little bottles that you get to store for uh, dogs and stuff. Anyway, he's full of rotten. And this is what we're using also for the baby goats. And it's called Unimilk. And as you can see, you can feed baby horses, uh, pigs, goats, cows, dogs. But I would say you can also use it for anything, really, that takes a baba. But anyway, uh, you also can buy colostrum this way in bags. So if your animals don't get the colostrum from the mother... You can get it in bag form and feed them that in uh, a bottle. And uh, that way they will get their colostrum that they need. But it will be uh, dry. I'll see if I can find that real quick because i got a brand new bag of that. And this here is the bag of colostrum that you get. And this is all bought at Tractor Supply. So I don't know if other feed stores will carry it or not, because that's just where I get mine at. But anyway, that's the colostrum that the babies have to have for their first 24 hours of life. <coughs> but I guess you're supposed to give it to them for two days in a row, because this here stuff says feed them after they're two days old, the Unimilk. But my baby's got the Unimilk right after they was born while I milk the mommies in the morning and give them the mommy milk, then at night time they got this and they're doing fine. So, uh, they got their colostrum from their mother this time around. But anyway, uh, 
you can see that the unimilk will help them. I mean, uh, the colostrum will give them the colostrum if you're not being able to, if the mother dies or something like that. And it's for cows and everything, as you can see there on the package, the unimilk is. So if you got that stuff, I would put it down in a five gallon bucket and keep a lid airtight on it so it can't draw no dampness and, and anything like that. And you'll have it whenever it, you may not never need it your whole life. But it's best to have it in case hap something happens in the middle of the night, the stores is closed or something and storming out, you can't get out. Snowstorm, you're stuck in, you can't get out. And the way this world's gone, it's hard to tell what they're going to have in store one day to the next. Because we went after Unimilk the other day and they never had a bit of it. So it's a good thing I bought two Unimilks the days, the weeks before. So uh, I just take and get what you think you need and keep it in a, a five gallon bucket with a good lid on it. And just write uh, pet milk on it or something so you don't have to keep opening it up and closing it. And then that way you'll know what it is in case you forget what it is or something. But anyway, there's a little bit of tidbit for you. And uh, he said there's what, 40 sun babies in that? Um, I count 43 by so there's probably more than that. Show them our new tank that we got out of the trash. Yeah, it's a 20 gallon fish tank we got out of the trash. Definitely need some cleaning up to do in it, but got that out of the trash. We're gonna put the big pluckos out of this little five and a half gallon into this tank. Now we're just going to use this to put all the babies in down here. And then once they all get some size on them and we get a good little stock of them, we will start selling them. So if anybody's interested in red plecos and uh, they're the super reds, they are for sale. But not right at the moment. We will let you know when we get enough that we think we have enough that we can take and ship out, and then I'll let you know on that. So just uh, stay tuned, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope y'all stay safe out there, and uh, God bless you and Zara all. And one thing you need to do next month, get up, go out, and vote. Thank you.